Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwinders.com. It's Saturday, the 30th of March. It's the Elite Eight. Let's talk about it, shall we? Before we get rolling, you guys know the drill. Hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content. Check out winnersandwinders.com, your friend for previews and predictions for free. Every game, every day, they're playing it. They're right about it over at winnersandwinders.com. You're looking for premium plays? There you go. You know I've been red hot this week, so make sure you check out premium plays. The link is in the description if you want to take your game to the next level. Nice. <laughs> I worked on that read all afternoon. Uh, all right. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the uh, Purdue Boilermakers, shall we? Nice job with uh, Purdue. Like I said, we talked about it yesterday. Gonzaga kept it close for a while, but Purdue uh, ended up leaning on and pulling away in the end, and that does. Uh, we will uh, we'll take that cash. We will absolutely take that cash on the Purdue Boilermakers. And uh, that's 4-0 this week, as we mentioned. How about that? 4-0? I think we could officially call that hot, right? Huh? There you go, guys. So, let's see what we got cooked up for today, shall we? We're going to take a look in the UConn-Illinois game. And uh, we're going to play a little funky play here. We're going to play Illinois team total under... I'm going to project it at 73. I haven't been able to find an official line, but I'm going to say it's going to be 73. And eh, maybe 72 and a half if they want to shade us there a little bit. I'd play this down to 71 and a half, maybe 72 uh, would be about as low as I'd go. Um, you know, we talked about the Huskies' dominant run uh, and their incredible margins of victory. They won every game in this tournament by 30 or more. Um, of course, their offense has been very good, but they're really getting it done on the defensive side. Um, they've given up more than 60 points just twice in their last 10 games. Uh, of course, in the tournament, they gave up 52 to Stetson, San Diego State. Yeah, okay, maybe that's not all that impressive. But they also gave up 57 and 67 to Marquette, and their 19th best offense coming down the stretch. And they gave up 58 to Northwestern. Northwestern, another good offense, uh, number 35 in offensive efficiency. Uh, they have forced their opponents to shoot below 41% in 12 of their last 15 games, and they it just basically contest every freaking shot. Um, yes, and I know what you're saying. Why would you ever bet a team total under with the number one offense, uh, adjusted offensive efficiency rate in the nation, according to Ken Palm? Well, that's a great question. Um, if you look close at this game and you look at the matchups, uh, UConn matches up very well with what Illinois does well. Uh, Illinois is 33rd, 33rd in effective field goal percentage. Man, it'd be nice if I could talk. The Huskies are third in opponents' offensive field goal. Uh, Illinois is 114th three-point shooting. UConn is 31st in three-point defense. Uh, Illinois 34th in shooting percentage overall. UConn defense is fourth. And finally... Uh, Illinois is 14th in made field goals. Very, very good indeed. Uh, UConn, uh, they are 10th in field goals allowed. So every one of those every one of those matchups, UConn has the advantage. Uh, this is a Huskies team that also doesn't want to go fast. They're in no hurry to do anything. 319th in pace. I fully expect them to slow this game down and play their basically their whole game in their half court set. I now, I got to tell you. I love this Illinois team coming into the tournament. Um, in fact, a couple of my brackets, I have them to win it all. But I got to tell you, uh, just like last year, this UConn team has found another gear, and they are on another planet right now. Um, I think they continue to do that. I think they continue to play great defensive basketball, and that's why I will take the Illinois Fighting Illini team total under 73. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as – we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, don't forget to drop your plays in there today. See what you got cooked up. Got a little baseball, huh? Got a little baseball happening. Who do you like in the uh, two NCAA games? Drop them in there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. All right? You guys take care. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy it. Beautiful weather, a lot of the country. Get out there, touch some grass, have some fun, and then come back in and win some money. All right? We'll be back tomorrow to talk all about it. Take care, everybody.